We are seven days into the new year if you're trying to lose weight and you're exercising and eating right, but still not seeing results. You may want to reevaluate your weight loss plan. Fitness trainer Darrell Webb is here hey. with some tips to try to help you out. All right, good to have you with us in the new Thank year you. and everything. Absolutely. All right, so some folks are trying. It can be frustrating can be for frustrating. folks. Yep. What's one of the things that they should look for and look at if they've already started, but they're not yeah. necessarily seeing any results just yeah. yet? So I'm going to take you a whole nother direction today, right? And I'm mm -hmm. going to start with tip number one, and that's get more sleep. How many hours a week do you sleep? How many hours a night do you sleep? Not, not enough with the 2 a.m. wake up time. Not enough with it. Exactly. <laughs> and that's most Americans. Most Americans average about six hours of sleep when the recommended um, each night is nine to 10 hours. Uh -huh. So throughout the week, that's almost a full night's sleep that we're skipping. Um, and that causes the body to kind of be overstressed and not be able to change. Sleep is where your body changes. All right. All right. Another thing that we need to keep in mind, too, is that everybody's body is a little bit different. Everybody's body is different. Absolutely. Uh -huh. um, and with that being said, let's talk about stress. We're right there on it. So if you have, if you can't find a way to decompress, you have to find a way to decompress. I know, right. that, I know that makes sense, right? <laughs> I know that makes sense, right? Uh -huh. So whether that's um, taking a walk in nature, um, disconnecting from technology, um, letting your mother watch the kids, you have to find a way to keep those stress levels down. Stre mm -hmm. Elevated stress levels equals elevated cortisol, Cortisol equals elevated fat levels. Okay. Right? All right. Another thing I guess we need to talk about is when should we really start to expect to see a little bit of results from, from, from starting a plan? Yeah. Once again, everybody, everybody's body's different, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're honest with yourself and you're being consistent, about four to six weeks is average to see something happen. If nothing's happening within that four to six weeks, then we probably want to kind of go back to the drawing board and see what we're doing or what we need to be doing differently. All right. Yeah. And then talk to, I guess, about uh, what we should be doing as far as exercising. For some people, it's really, it's the cardio that's right. best. For others, it may not necessarily be the cardio. Right. Well, you have to find a, a a fine blend of both, right? And yeah. once again, staying on that, everybody's different. Some people need more um, weightlifting. Some people need more cardio. It really just depends on what your goals are overall. Everybody doesn't want to look like me. Uh -huh. Every, so, you know, so <laughs> weightlifting might not be your thing, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> um, so it really just depends on what the individual's goals um, are, and then we can kind of get you head down the right path. All right, so for a lot of you going, yeah, I do want to look like you. <laughs> Give us a couple of tips, all right, that, that yeah. we can do. Okay, so we're going to start with what we call HIT, high intensity interval training. Uh -huh. And all that is is 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. Okay. And we're going to set a timer for usually about 20 minutes. I'm going to give you three exercises that you'll rotate through for 20 minutes. So you can okay. do at home, at work, on your break, whatever. All you need is 20 minutes. Okay, okay super. All right, so first thing, 30 seconds of just regular squats. Our feet, okay. our, pair, our um, shoulder width, we're going to drop it until our knees and hips are parallel, and we'll hit 30 quick seconds all right. right there, right? 30 seconds. I'll work on form later. Right. <laughs> Make sure we keep that chest up, head uh -huh. up, butt goes down, heels yeah. stay on the ground. Now, after that 30 seconds, you'll take a 30 second break. Okay. We don't have that much time, so we're mm -hmm. going to go right into what we call squat jacks. Okay. This is a plyometric exercise. Alrighty. We'll bring our feet in and out. And okay. This is designed to spike the heart rate. Right? Oh, so this okay. This is that cardio. So the first one was strength. Right. Mm -hmm. This is that cardio. All righty. All right, and we'll hit 30 seconds of this. All right, so after, after that, that, we'll just go 30 seconds of just regular. Just regular jumping, jumping jacks. jacks. Yep. All righty. Regular jumping Anything jacks. Anything on form that I'm. Not I think you're good on the jumping jacks, right? right? You got to, you've done these before, right? <laughs> Second grade, <laughs> right, third grade, fourth 30 grade. 30 seconds right there. Uh huh. And then we will just stop, 30 second break, and then rinse and repeat. Right? Okay. How important is that interval in between doing these? The interval is important because it, it keeps your body guessing. It keeps the, the, the ah. roller coaster going up and down, right? So, and it keeps you from fatiguing too quickly. Okay. All right, so some great information there. If you want to find out where to get in touch with Jarrell, we're going to put some of this information on our website. Great information. Thank you. Woo! Got the heart rate. There we go. That's Got what the we heart wanted, rate right? going. That's what we <laughs> wanted. Yes, exactly. All right.